I'm not too sure where to start, but let's just go ahead and start with this. Why video. would anyone join them? That nice shades, bro. Starting the VTuber agency Niji Sanji, who recently has had an unsigned talent contract making its rounds as originally reviewed exclusively by Florida Man Lawyer Legal Mindset. That stream then being summarized on r slash Niji Sanji, and then even further being summarized in a Google document, complete with screenshots and a table of contents. Legal Mindset the next morning reacting with, wow, Reddit is fast. That all while myself, alongside the part-time supervillain Emma Evanstar, who is not, we repeat, not ever going to beat the horse girl allegations, would yesterday go on to join Legal Mindset on his stream for the reacting to that review and also new information regarding Sayu. This former Niji Sanji talent offering up a silencing contract to Legal Mindset, that further being captured by r slash Niji Sanji, as numerous others would go on to react to these summaries and reviews of the contract, including this summary by Daniel at Big Daniel Energy. Presented here today for those looking for a slightly more summarized version of yesterday's video, saying this, this is, is beyond, beyond effed. <laughs> I took a few screenshots from Legal Mindset's stream of the leaked copy of Niji Sanji's base contract. And if you really love the livers, stop watching them and pray yeah, they bail. Played. Daniel, we beginning with, you have been warned, it There's gets worse with each on. picture. Niji Sanji can legally <sighs> seize any and all earnings from a liver in the previous 12 months if they are found in breach of contract. If Niji Sanji deems that you have have committed quote unquote betrayal, whatever the hell this means, they can fire you with impunity. Niji Sanji can force any of their livers to do any of the following. So, yes, there really is a chance that Niji pointed a gun to Oliver's head and forced her to do the black video. Further, Niji Sanji may give a bro. We said this shit a long time ago. <laughs> Bro, y'all just now catching up. Fiverr, 1300 US dollars in total for equipment, setup, background, and software. If Niji Sanji thinks you don't need it, they are not obligated to give you anything except the model. Further, Niji Sanji is allowed to force you to relocate, even if you disagree, as the term quote unquote place is used and was not defined otherwise earlier. And the cost of travel is borne by you out of pocket just for last. Damn, so you're technically forced to move to Japan if they say so. And you gotta pay for it. Why the fuck do y'all sign this shit? Yes, discrimination and any hate speech is banned under any color rules of contract. If for any reason a liver is in dispute with a platform like YouTube or Twitch, the company is not obligated to intervene. And even if Niji Sanji screws you over and causes untold damages to you, they're only obligated to pay how much that liver earned in the last six months. And that's if you can prove it first. If Niji Sanji believes a liver causes any damage to Niji Sanji due to a breach of contract, Niji can demand and compensation for all lost profits. Basically, they can wrangle every dollar out of any liver leaving. Not so easy to leave, huh? Niji Sanji is not legally obligated to protect their own livers or intervene in any bullying, fighting, or any conflict with streamers. If anything, they instigate it. They want them to fight each other. The livers are expected to deal with it, meaning their cost and time themselves. But Niji Sanji still needs to be notified. Daniel remarking, this is the most effed. Niji Sanji can unilaterally change the terms of a liver's contract automatically if the liver does not videos. respond to Niji's amendment within 14 days, or if the liver does any of the activities mentioned above. Those mentions, including also streaming and even tweeting, or as Daniel says, basically doing Doing their job. Niji can communicate with a liver in any form they want, and it is the liver's job to make sure to get the message. Daniel going on to postulate that yes, this could even include faxes, further stating, nothing terrible here, just a funny thing to lift your mood a bit. Basically, Niji Sanji and the livers declare that they are not, in fact, a criminal enterprise, i.e., Yakuza. They are totally legal. Daniel stating, even if you are terminated, you are obligated to follow pretty much everything mission above. So basically, even if you're out, you're not really out, according to Niji. That's crazy. So even when they fire your ass, they still own you. Bro, this contract is so devious. I feel like if anybody signs up for Niji Sanji, whether it's JP, EN, India, Europe, whatever the fuck they got going on, bro, you should definitely seek medical attention because you are fucked up in the head if you sign any contract from them after watching any of this you're basically signing yourself up to be a slave and even whenever they're tired of you being their slave you're still their slave
That is beyond mental. Contract as over half of the articles within the unsigned contract reviewed, quote unquote, survive even after termination. Nietzsche pulls a little sneaky at the end and declares that if this contract goes to court, it'll Common be in Tokyo. This contract right. would be absolutely ripped apart in any American, Canadian, or really any Western court. Daniel remarking, I don't think even a Korean court would take this seriously. Adding, if you really care about your favorite livers of Nietzsche Sanji, detach yourself. Pray that they get a proper lawyer and get the hell out of dodge by blindly supporting you are allowing niji sanji to mistreat their livers much of this is unenforceable especially in the united states however unless the livers stand up for themselves and lawyer up they cannot get out of this do not enable the company to continue doing this daniel further adding this important disclaimer the contract is the base unedited version we can only hope that some livers signed a better contract however it's also possible they did sign this as a the livers might not have a lawyer b they were time constrained or C, they thought it was worth it. And there are also other conclusions coming out of this base contract reveal, including this piece of the Article 17 penalty, stating Niji could have been pocketing 100% of Selen slash Doki Bird's proceeds using the quote unquote breach in contract as the excuse. Others reacting to this contract with my face when reading all the Niji Sanji contract leaks, all people wanted is to watch VTuber streams and perform on stages. That's what VTubers are all about. WTF is this. Further, we have another reason why I don't watch them anymore, praying they get out of that company. You're better off grinding as an indie VTuber than signing with Niji Sanji. Other than turning thousands of eyes. You're beyond better off going indie, dude. And literally almost any other company is better than this shit, bro. Almost any other company is better. And like the crazy part is like the Wactors and all these other scam, uh, like scam agencies, after people find out they're a scam, it's like, yeah, they're in Taiwan, so who gives a fuck? They're not going to do anything. This contract is from a huge organization that has a lot of money. And if they want to force you to relocate, they can and will do so. I mean, look at the lyrics. She's, she has to move to Tokyo or Japan or wherever the fuck. That's on insane. you for like a week it's that is not literally worth it. insane Sanji debuts vtuber so often you're just statistics in their eyes as lastly we have if it hadn't been obvious to anyone before this please read all the details and stipulations of a contract slash agreement before signing it is worth it to hire a lawyer to read it over when you're dealing with tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of dollars as who is also in the money is hall live english's iris today celebrating her birthday Hall live production english saying happy birthday to our half demon and half angel nephilim iris that is before they were congratulating her on 1 million youtube channel subscribers aren't there like 15 birthdays this month First, standing Not here alive. to the many more karaoke's car dates and hope deliveries with the aristocrats and our half demon half angel and full pawn nephilim all data remarking iris has reached the 1 million subscriber mark on That's her good. youtube channel this is the 40th person excluding the official channels for hall live production to hit this milestone iris being the seventh person in all of hall live english to hit that milestone and the second person for en promise to reach the 1 million subscriber mark this coming after an endurance stream iris saying thank you so much for everyone sticking around for both the endurance and my birthday countdown i couldn't hold back them feels i can't believe we did it i really can't appreciate this enough hope to see you guys at tomorrow's 3d live that being the hope to the future 3d concert event from this morning kicking off at the convenient hours of 7 a.m eastern and 4 a.m pacific good i'm tired of having to wake my ass up because of y'all now y'all gotta wake y'all ass up. Let's go. As this sounds event, good to me. Reacting was Oro Crony saying happy one mil. You deserve it so much. Fumoko here with congratulations bow on bow. one million Irish senpai. We know that it's been an amazing journey. We're excited for your birthday live tomorrow too. Bow bow. And of course receiving a congratulations from Pepper Corporation CEO Yago. This all leading to celebratory artwork not only from Dito Bang but also Ridiola and Under to TV offering up this congrats on one million subscribers iris and then before the concert iris would host a guess the guest drawing stream offering up guest revelations in this format that is iris would promise the attendance of 
of numerous Hollow JP members. So much so that during the concert, Itori would remark, Iris, my favorite JP member. After Iris remarking, thank you so much for coming to my 3D Live, guys. I am super happy that so many people came by. Being able to organize a proper 3D Live for my birthday was always something I wanted to do since joining Hall Live, so I'm really glad I did this as we're squaring up with the Iris That's Birthday Celebration 2024 merchandise. That including a desk mattress, a gamer jacket wrist, alongside a postcard and gyrus cap. That is, we had this observation of, I need to start a business, as Doodlebang would for leave real. room for the horns. Suki Wan remarking, I was in charge of the illustration for Iris's birthday commemorative 2024 goods. Happy birthday. Please take mm. care, and the apparel goods are too nice. We also had more birthday artwork from Jushoro under the TV. Nami, alongside Luna cosplaying here and saying, I am once again recycling this photo that made my existence mm. to be known and to be a part of this wonderful Hall Live community. Honestly, I really am truly grateful to all of you. I am sorry my plans for the 2.0 costume got delayed, but I really want to impress her with the 2.0 as soon as ah. possible. It's coming. Whoa, 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 As next up with even more things ah. YouTubers say, we have our co-host, Cody. Take it away. ko hi yo We kick off today's segment with some 3D live concerts, starting with the cosplaying rabbit Usada Picora, who finally got round to celebrating her birthday. Originally supposed to take place on January 12th, it was moved back to March 3rd, where she invited... Yo, is this a clickbait? Because <laughs> it worked. Guests, that being Korone and Mio, Chloe and Kanata, Nene Toa and this just said graduation merch. I was like, bro, ain't no way. Uka, Ayame and and Fubuki, no Kiori, way. and Iroha, and of course the rest of Hololive Gen 3, all of whom congratulated her with some applause after her opening song, recreating so. the clapping scene from Evangelion. Other fun moments included an adorable opening video by Gamachi and Seamuji, Akora and Korone riding bikes, Suisei, where the, the two of them released a vlog all about their travels together. Suisei Ooh. recently appeared on the commercial Tokyo radio station J-Wave. There, she oh. joined Daoko, a Japanese singer and rapper, where the two of them talked about everything Hololive. That is after Daoko got over being starstruck by the comment. As she posts, I was so full of feelings that I couldn't say everything I wanted to say. But look at this cute picture. I'm so happy That's to dope. be here. In other updates, Hololive 5th Fest is right around see this. There's a new Hololive. His talents. And on the topic of collabs, we turn to Holox Society, as they have teamed up for a very special collaboration with the energy drink brand Dodecamine. Fans in Japan can visit their local 7-Eleven, Family Mart, or Lawson. What about the Steam game? It will unlock a release for a brand new original song from Hot and the opening of the Steam Store page. Described as a classic style beat em up, uh, okay. it contains beat -em different up. talents mm -hmm. of Hololive, such as Gen 5's Nepal Labo, equipped with their own unique abilities. It also features action packed boss battles, up to four player local or online multiplayer, harder okay. difficulties, and the X in the title is silent. Meanwhile, K, who developed the game, went on to release a fun little tidbit saying, The title call at the end of the teaser is a bit of a painful memory for me. When I sent in a request to staff for each of the talents to say the title, they wanted to make sure it was easy for the talents to record, so they asked me to record myself saying it as an example for them. Kay added, I sat there for 30 minutes contemplating if I was mentally ready to accept these nine talents. Will listen to my cringe ass, trying to voice act and say the title the same way you all heard it. Eventually, I manned up and did it, but I feel like I lost a piece of myself that day. I have never been more embarrassed in my entire life than that moment. Anyway, I wonder if there's another voice in this game not revealed yet. In other Hololive Japan mm. updates, a third collaboration with Hololive meets Mango. Bro, this is just so many Hollow W's, man. Shout out to Hololive. All these W's, well deserved. Thought Beams is now live. It's a collection of wide t-shirts that Hollow, people of their group. They've set up a Google form to take suggestions up until March 11th. Next up, we have Amani Kanata, who's released demos of all the songs featuring in her upcoming album, Unknown Diva. This, as the second original song from the album, Knock It Out, is playing on screens in Shinjuku. Kanata mm. went on to say, it's the same screen that's famous for videos of the 3D cat. In the other branch, we visit Koreji Oli, who took to stream to show off some new accessories, posting images of her new hair and saying, how do you like my new look? Next, we check out some of the boys. As Uproar is celebrating their second anniversary with a 3D live concert, taking place on the official Holostars channel on March 31st, they have announced that the entire performance will be absolutely free. And lastly, in today's news, we visit mm. VARC, the service that has been responsible for various 3D live events, such as providing the platform for Shirinui Flair's mini live concert, producing the sound for Miko's recent birthday, and also providing
providing the platform for various Cinderella Switch performances from Hololive Talent. Vark announced the termination of their service as of March the 4th. Refunds will be given to those with Vark coins, and it marks the end of an era for Vark. But that's everything from me. Back over to you, false. Thank you so much, Cody. As that is all for this episode, as always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. Send in your VTuber news to our Discord, as we'll have more things VTubers say for you soon. W video. Bow, 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 bow.